Are you a great painter? Oh, my goodness, no. I'm not a great... <laughs> I'm not even a good painter, <laughs> come to that. I'm just uh, an amateur struggling along. In fact, I've never really considered myself a, an artist, more of a recorder, recording Fulham and other places that are going to be no more. Uh, this is the very first painting I did in 19... I painted it in 65. I mean, I've moved on, hopefully, since this. I'm not very happy with a lot of the aspects of it, but... Uh... There you go, it's my first painting, so... What is it? It's a view of what? It's the view from my um, bathroom window, actually. It's a view of my bath from my bathroom window. Um, it's completely different, like everything else I painted years ago. All this has changed now. If you look from my bathroom window now, it looks completely different. Uh, so in a way, I suppose I'm glad I did it. There are no chimney pots anymore, of course, because everybody has central heating. And on top of that, they built extensions to the roof, loft extensions. Uh, I haven't really got much else to say about that. This is one of my Italian paintings. Um, it's somewhere in Tuscany. I was there on holiday. Um, and as you can see, it's got these old bricks and I love, well, old stones really, not bricks. But uh, I love that stairway going up. I just, uh, and it goes up into a mysterious, dark, area that uh, once you get up there it's not mysterious at all but I thought it looked mysterious from down here. Um, this is another place in Italy. Uh, this is in the southern part of Italy. I think it was Terracina. I'm sure it was Terracina. Um, and this, in this one the stairs are going down. <laughs> Got a thing with stairs either going up or down. Right, that's nothing like that one. I like the red um, building in that. This place no longer exists. It, actually, it's the inside of a room. It was a it was a house, the inside of a house. You can see where the light switch was and the fireplace up there. Um, it's just off of Tottenham Court Road in um, in the heart of This is Tudor Place. That was what it was called when it was originally the inside of you know a house. The house was there. Now it's been replaced by a block of flats. This is a smokehouse. Um, it's a, a view from my, well, it was a view from my garden. Uh, the smokehouse has since been demolished. It's where they used to smoke all the uh, fish, kippers and bloaters, and it, it was really nice, the stuff they did there. It's gone now, like a lot of other places in Fulham. This part around it, the, the windows, of course, they've, they've been improved on both sides but apart from that and the smoke and the tree was cut down which was a pity I used to enjoy that tree coming into bloom every spring but that was cut down and the smokehouse has gone so it's a rather uninteresting view now this is a warehouse in Nashville um, or it was a warehouse once I was intrigued with all those red bricks and the reflection in the water. This is another place that's been demolished since I painted it. Uh, I seem to put the kiss of death on that on other places. I paint them and then they're pulled down. Um, but I enjoy doing that and I, I, I love that old building.
This is Nellie Warner, a florist in Fulham, which again has been, it's no longer a florist, it's nothing, it's just, it's just empty, the place now. Um, I like this, I like the contrast between the, the top, which is all uh, falling to pieces, and the flowers beneath and um, the old man that's sitting there waiting for a customer. He was very sad when the shop closed. I don't know what happened, whether the leads ran out or what. But his wife, who uh, was in there, she did most of the work in the shop, the flower arranging and wreaths and everything. Bought our funeral wreaths, wedding bouquets, everything there through the years. This is a painting of my house that um, I painted it in 1974 before it's been repainted on the outside twice since then it was blue and now it's terracotta on the brickwork but it's a pity that the brickwork was covered up really I regretted that afterwards but there you go shortly after I, uh, I painted this picture of my house uh, we decided for some reason I don't know why to paint it blue so we hired somebody to come and do that for us um, and then after a while we didn't like it very much so then it was painted terracotta which it is today terracotta and white I it, painted the house once didn't I? what colour did I paint it? I, I can't remember I can't remember you, you painting it I remember Lawrence painting it, painting it terracotta this is a um, a painting of an old, whatever it is. Oh dear. It's a place where they used to, oh, I don't know what it's called. A truck. What is it? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it was a place in Nashville, Tennessee that I really liked. I liked it because the, uh, the bricks were all flaking off and um, it looked as though it was on its last legs. When I back, when I painted this in 1995, um, when I went back a couple of years later, it had been renovated and now it's a restaurant called Cafe One Two Three. Actually, I went inside and had a meal in there, and it's so odd being inside a place that I painted. Uh, that was very strange. Uh, painted in 1984, uh, it's called Vanston Place, and this is another place that's changed completely uh in in that time um it's completely different now um i decided to paint this um particular scene because i love the crumbling brickwork and the bricks and the windows full of rubbish and the and the shop that shop never opened all that stock was taken from another site in fulham broadway and brought here and after a couple of months it burnt down the whole shop burnt down um, and a lot of the area around so it's all completely changed now but I'm glad I, I caught it while it was like this because uh, I think there's a lot of beauty in crumbling paintwork and and bricks themselves and it, uh, the marketplace 1851 um, luckily that was saved that little that plaque there that was saved and it's been replaced but um, and the bricks I think are still there they're ba very badly burned but I think there must have been a fire there earlier because the bricks are very black on the right hand side so uh, but all the stock went it was all burnt this is another Italian painting I did this earlier this year um, th this again is in Tuscany um, I, don't, I was going to enter this one for the Academy instead of Stephen Long's but uh, at the last minute I changed my mind. The thing is, if I enter it for a London exhibition, um, I can't enter it for the Academy next year, so I might not, I might not enter it anywhere this year. When did you do this and, and when did it get in or not get in? Um, I, I did this, this is one of my very early paintings. I did this in 1966, shortly after the very first one I did, which was from my bathroom window of the backs. This is a more close-up view of the, of the back of my house, which has changed a lot. I didn't enter this for the Academy because I'd already entered it for, um, I think it was the Lord Mayor's Art Award or, or one of those other exhibitions. And once you've entered a painting in a London exhibition, 
you cannot enter it for the academy, so I didn't. Um, this is another part of Fulham that's changed a, a great deal. And of course, you can see the the lovely crumbling brickwork or plaster or whatever it is and the bricks beneath it. Uh, this was a whole roof. I've done this from another angle, the, the inside of the roof, which is very interesting. It, uh, originally, of course, it went right the way along to the top of Foylet's Wood Store. Um, when well, it was a greengrocer's shop, Foylet's Wood Store at one time, years ago. Uh, at the back, there's the top of the Odeon uh, Cinema, which has gone long gone, the Regal, that's gone. And Safeways now. Uh, and that lovely wood store where we used to buy all our wood that we needed, it, that went. And all those tiny little things that they sold in that shop. When was this knocked down? Um, well, let's see. 1980 I paid it, painted it. That's 22 years ago. It was knocked down about five, six years after that. About 1985, I think. This shop still remains, the shop Novels still remains, um, because it hasn't got that roof at the top anymore. I think it's a dress shop now, and um, all the shops are long from there, back still remain. But this, the, the shop that the man's looking in, um, Foylet's Corner next door, um, has become um, a cafe, a restaurant, sort of a bar, wine bar, come, whatever, sorts of places that are springing up all over the place now. But I'm glad I captured it while it was still there. So I've got it now, forever. And my children can have it when I've gone, if they want it. Might throw it out, who knows? <laughs> and I was so sad that it, it, that it went, so I'm glad I captured it when I did, in 1980. It was finally demolished in about 1986, 85, 86, so, um, and then made to look very smart, as they thought. Um, this is a painting of a shop in uh, Banson Place. Yeah, it's quite close to the uh, the shop with the lampshades in the window. I painted this in 1994. This was another one that I entered for the Academy, but it didn't get in. Uh, that This shop has gone. Um, shortly after I painted it, it disappeared. I thought that the interest really the prices of the um, lights and the lamps. You know, I thought it would be interesting to record the prices of the wall lights and the, and the lamps, table lamps, etc. Um, because in years to come, people are either going to say, goodness, they were very expensive or they, they're very cheap, depending how probably they say they're very cheap because money tends to, um, you know, things tend to get more expensive as time goes on. Uh, and I love these lamps. There's something about it. And when the other lamp shop closed, I suppose this one felt it could take over. My son lives in Nashville, so I, I do um, quite a bit of painting when I'm there. And uh, these are two places that are quite close to where he lives, in Nashville, Tennessee. The flower shop at the top there, that's closed. It's now a uh, very... Um, derelict looking place. Such a pity because it was so pretty. And this is a house in Germantown, um, which is a part of Nashville. Um, I don't think anybody lives there, lived there. I don't know if anybody does now, but it looks a bit as though it's not lived in. Though it might be, I don't know. But I just like the house. This is a house, no, it's not a house, it's um, a shop. Uh, a cafe in Cambridge. Um, that's my son looking in the window. I painted this, oh goodness me, let me look at the date, I've forgotten. Oh, I've put the date on, haven't I? Um, it, right, I painted this painting in the 80s um, or late 70s. It's my son looking in the window of this uh, place where we used to go and have waffles. Delicious they were. And my daughter was at university there, so we were up there quite a lot. Um, and I, I liked all the bricks and the shop and the, and those poles with the green and white pattern on them. Let's see, let's see. 
shop was closed. We went there and it was closed, so that's a pity. Probably went back again later. In. Right, um, this is um, the title of this picture is Yesterday's Menu, which is obvious by the price of the sausage. That's, that was sausage up there, sausage and mash, pork chop fourpence. That must have been at the end of the last, well, the end of the 19th century, not the last century. Um, and I painted that 20 years ago. This is a view of, of my backyard. Um, oh, it's wobbling about. I painted it in 1972, and fortunately it was one that did get in, which I was very pleased about. Um, that again has changed, and fortunately it hasn't fallen down yet. Except that the wheel has gone and the, and the little fence there. I sat in the garden and painted this in 1972. Um, it's a view of the back of my house. Um, it's one of the few places that hasn't fallen down that I've painted. Except that a lot of it's gone. The wheel and the fence, the stepladder and that funny little affair down here, I don't know. There's supposed to be sweet peas, I think, growing up there. You can just about see the colours of them when we had some plants coming up there. Oh, fence has gone, isn't it? The fence has gone and the wheel has gone. I, I'm sorry, I think the wheel fell to pieces in the end. The stepladder certainly did. I mean, this was 30 years ago. So in true tradition of you painting something, something fell apart? Something fell apart and, of course, the sunflowers died. Um, I called this painting Sunflowers. Why is that? Because there are sunflowers in it, basically. <laughs> yes. This is my local pub. It's a few minutes walk away from where I live. I painted it in 1998. I've always liked the uh, the pub because it's one of the really old ones in Fulham. There are very, very few of these, and they've kept the original name. So many pubs have such silly names now. They've changed all the original names to things like Slug and Lettuce and fox and parrot and stuff so this is good and I like the uh, the sign they've changed the sign since 1998 um, um, I wanted to paint it because it's one of the really old pubs in Fulham a couple of hundred years old more than that perhaps and the interior hasn't been changed at all and neither has the exterior come to that not very much anyway uh, it's really lovely inside, and the uh, flowers in the summer are beautiful. Mm -hmm.